doing singing, making records professionally, you know. And Dennis Brown is a famous Jamaican whose expertise are reggae, lovers rock, reggae dub, and he's also a songwriter. During Dennis Brown's prolific career, which began in the late 1960s, when Dennis was at the age of 11, he recorded more than 75 albums and was one of the major stars of Lover's Rock. Let me tell you that Dennis Brown has never won a Grammy Award, but instead Dennis was accepted in the nomination event three times but however failed to achieve an award. But nevertheless, it was announced on the 10th of the 17th, 2011, that the reggae legend would be awarded for the Order of Distinction OD Commander Class by the Jamaican government in the recognition of the Prince of Reggae. Cox's dad, you know. But while working with Don't Beat Now was like going to a college. Please, viewers and subscribers, remember, share the link on all social media platforms and watch the ads and comment, share and like because it do help us out a lot. His full name is Dennis Emanuela Brown, born on February 1st, 1957 and he would be 64 years old at the time of this production. Benny also known the legend as the Crown Prince of Reggae. Dennis Label's affiliations are Pseudo One Records, Trojan Records, Harry J Records and many more. Dennis Brown have 12 children and five of them was raised by Dennis wife Miss Yvonne Brown. Let me tell you that Dennis youngest son goes by the name Jason Brown and the name of Dennis Brown father was Mr. Arthur. His father was also a scriptwriter, an actor and also a journalist. Dennis Brown grew up in a large tenement yard between North Street and King Street in Kingston, Jamaica. His son sign is Aquarius. The legend also have a daughter by the name of Marla Brown. Sadly, in the 1960, Dennis' mother passed. Dennis began his singing career at the age of nine, while still at junior school with an end of term concert. The first time Dennis performed in the public, Although he had been keen on music from an even earlier age and as a youngster he was a keen fan of American balladeers such as Brooke Benton, Sam Cooke, Frank Sinastra, Dean Martin. Dennis looked at Nat King Cole as one of his greatest early influences. Dennis regular hung around JJ's record store on Orange Street in the Rocksteady era. And Dennis relatives and neighbors would often show Dennis pennies to hear him sing in their yard. Dennis' first professional appearance came at the age of 11 when he visited the Tit for Tat, a local Wisconsin nightclub, where his brother Basil was performing a comedy routine and where he made a guest appearance with the club resident group, the Fabulous Falcon. Let me tell you that Brown, greatest influence and his style of singing reggae. Those artists are Errol Dunkley, John Holt, Ken Booth, and Bob Andy. During Brown's career, his first recording was an original song called Lips of Wine, and that same song was produced by Derek Harriott. But however, Brown started working for Studio One Records where he cut his first hit song entitled No Man Is An Island and that song was recorded when Brown is at the age 12 and that song was published in the late 1969. Let me tell you that Brown was advised by Alton Ellis to take guitar lessons to help Brown with his songwriting and he also convinced dad to buy Brown an instrument and Ellis was even the one who taught Brown the basics of the guitar. In 1972, Brown began an association that would result in his breakthrough as an international successful artist. Brown was asked by Joe Gibbs to record an album for him and one of those tracks that he recorded was the song entitled Money In My Pocket 
and that was a big hit in the UK reggae audience and quickly became a favorite of his live performance. This original version of Money In My Pocket was in fact produced by Winston Niney Holness on behalf of Gibbs with musical from the Soul Syndicate. In the same year, Brown performed as a part of a Christmas morning showcase in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Brown is a tremendous vocal guitar player as well. Brown cut songs such as No Man Is An Island, Love Ja, Easy Take It Easy, If I Follow My Heart, and many more. It was said that back in the days, Brown performed at JLP conference. It was so amazing that the audience showered the stage with money. And let me tell you that the same event made Byron Lee proud of Dennis Brown. And Mr. Byron Lee booked Brown to participate in the show in the US where Brown was nicknamed as Boy Wonder. Let me tell you that Brown left Studio One Record and Vice for four other producer and cut songs like Baby Don't Do It, One Day Soon, If I Had The World, and many more. Brown and Holness became close, even share a host together in Pembroke Hall. Brown followed this with another collaboration with Holness, with the song entitled Westbound Chain, and that song was one of the biggest Jamaican hit in the summer. Stands alone. In the 1969, Brown's song entitled No Man Is An Island received increasingly airplay for almost a year. But before becoming a huge hit through Jamaica, Brown cut for dad about 30 songs and also worked as a backing singer. And the session by other artists including Horace Andy, Larry Marshall and Alton Ellis and the great legend Dennis also record for Vincent Randichin and cut a song called Cheater. He also cut a song for Dennis Al Capone and Herman Chin Loy. Let me tell you that Brown was voted Jamaica's top male vocalist in Apollo by Swing Magazine in 1973. Brown's success became dominant with music such as Cassandra, no More Will I Roam and also Africa alongside Love Ja and in the later 1973 Brown was hospitalized due to fatigue caused by overwork rumors was spread that he only have one lung and had only one week to live and had contract tuberculosis Let me tell you that in an interview with Black Echoes, Brown confirmed that he had dispatched himself from Holiness, a company. He stated, I was going along with one man's idea for too long. Nine was trying to find a new beat at all time, which was disconcerting. So I hadn't been working with my true abilities. Now I know that I can produce myself. So viewers and subscribers, Dennis Brown take a next part. He did patch himself and him friend Holiness because the two of them was two great friends we used to part. So we'll get back in the review. Moreover, in 1977, Brown cut his biggest song entitled Vision of Dennis Brown. And that same song was voted Reggae Album of the Year by Melody Maker. Nevertheless, in 1978, Brown first UK top 40 hit reaching number 14 and became the biggest international hits in Jamaica and also in 1979 Brown featured on the cover of the NME Brown also signed an international deal with A&M Records and let me tell you that in the early 1980s the reggae icon also start a new label named Ivan Special dedicated to his wife and in the 1984 Brown do a collab with a next superstar, Gregory Isaac, and the album Too Bad. Records professionally, you know, and I started with Downbeat. It was stated into an article by Tammy Cohen that Bob Marley is a serious businessman. But nevertheless, when it comes to Dennis Brown, he was never a serious man when it comes to investment. But Dennis Brown was more like a community person who give away to the people and anybody who is in need. In the late 1990, Brown's health began to get worse. He had developed respiratory issues and problems with drug addiction. In 1999, Dennis was diagnosed with pneumonia. 
after fleeing from Brazil back to Jamaica on the 30th of June 1999. Dennis was rushed to Kingston University Hospital, suffering from cardiac arrest. Brown died the next day, cause of death was collapse lung. So basically viewers and subscribers, the superstar reggae icon was deceased on the 1st of July 1999. Dennis was an inspiration and influence to many such as Barrington Levy, Junior Reed, Luciana and many more. He was buried July 17, 1999 and placed at National Heroes Park in Kingston, Jamaica. I'm El Trapper Scott TV, the best TV. Remember comment, like and share. Love to all. Get my channel big. I'm out. Please viewers and subscribers, remember share the link on all social media platforms and watch the ads and comment, share and like because it do help us out a lot.